are here to serve you the very first lecture of our vocabulary series. In today's lecture, we'll be learning some different ways to express our emotions and connect on a deeper level. Let's have a look at this picture. Is this person happy? Undoubtedly. But there are different ways to say about happiness. Let's learn. So the first one could be ecstatic. Whenever you are excited for something, the level of joy can be expressed by the word ecstatic. For example, she was ecstatic when she got the offer letter in hand. The second word could be elated. Now this word represents the sense of pride and high spirits. For example, on the graduation day, I was elated. The third word turns out to be jubilant. Jubilant is a state when you want to practically celebrate and reflect your excitement. For example, on the wedding day, the girl was having jubilant experiences. Let's look at some other emotions. Look at this picture. Angry. He's angry. She's angry. But there are plenty other ways to express this intense emotion. Let's learn it. First word to justify this intense emotion can be furious. Furious is a state when you are blazing like a fire. For example, her furious expression warned everyone to stay clear. Moving on to the next word that is irate. Irate is a feeling which adds irritation to your aggression or you add your feeling. For example, he was irate when his computer crashed again. Next up, we have enraged. Imagine your anger reaching to the topmost level. That's when you are enraged. After a constant delay of the flight, the public out there was enraged. Now let's have a look towards another emotion that is sad. There are plenty other ways to express that I'm sad, I'm disappointed. Let's learn them one by one. The first one could be melancholic. Melancholic is a state when you are deep and pensive sadness. For example, his eyes had a deep sense of melancholic emotion. Moving on to the next word, that is despondent. Now this is a feeling of low spirits when you feel as if you have lost everything. For example, after losing the match, Rahul was utterly disappointed. The third word could be gloom. This word gloomy paints a dark picture of expression where you are disappointed. For example, she had a gloomy expression after receiving the bad news. Here you go. Today in this lesson we learned some alternatives to express emotions in more precise way. Do use them and let us know whether it was beneficial for you or not. Till then, have a great day and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.